，啊，贵州。Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Short. ลูกประสิทธิ์ลูกประสิทธิ์มันเป็นเรื่องที่ต้องลูกประสิทธิ์ต้องสมัครสมาชิกจะเป็นเรื่องที่ต้องลูกประสิทธิ์ต้องสม
đây là mọi chuyện đi việc cắt là ứng nơi so my question is pin không phải chơi xong nữa được xem trong sơ lục nó pin ít thì thà which body thà ta tham ban là một cái within within the CPK structure cái tham ban được không được chơi xong quan tâm công việc cam bị chia được gọi là bắt phong chiến nẹt tụt tụt cất rơi trong cả thuộc cả sầm rách bẹp này ta lục ai thuộc cả sanh than từ lời bảy hà đi ban đầu thì There is no evidence apart from this broadcast. This is like, seems to me to be like the appeal which was or the message of support from Hunan Huyun and Kyu Sung Pak, which was sent to Beijing at the time of the September 26th, which was written by the Cambodian Party, Communist Party leadership. What the Communist Party leadership? Who exactly in that leadership? Whether it was a document drawn up by Mr. Kyu Sung Pak, but certainly it reflected a decision by the. CPK standing committee or by Paul himself uh, to reassure others that only those seven main leaders and I think other names were added to this later on but basically a very restricted number of people would risk um, um, the death sentence would, would risk uh, um, uh, being killed when the Khmer Rouge took over. Um, that was the object of it. We saw earlier from a passage of your book that we looked at, um, that you made specific reference to the execution of Wong Bore. Now, the, the, the document is this particular communique signed by Kyu Sampan according to this document. Are you aware of uh, whether this decision in any form or fashion was communicated within the CPK structures uh, within the hierarchies or is that, is that something you were able to um, ascertain through your research? The fact that it was broadcast uh, was by Bai 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 the radio station and obviously a month dissemination. Um, so it would have been made known. But who took the call? What we really don't know is who, who was the decision maker who approved this document. We don't even know whether Mr. Kyu Sung Pan, uh, whether it was simply a matter of using his name, whether he was privy to it before it was put out. Um, all we can say with certainty is that this nebulous <laughs> body um, uh, or group who, who were at the head, head of the CPC certainly approved it and were responsible for issuing it. And just one more question on uh, Q Sampan in particular. Uh, in your research, have you uh, come across any evidence of him distancing himself from this decision or disagreeing with it in that particular period when it was made? Absolutely not. I'm sure he did not distance himself. I'm sure he was in agreement with it and with the policies which were connected with it. Thank you. The communique also uh, mentions that others, lower-ranking officials, as you've already intimated, um, were effectively welcome uh, to the, they have a full right to the communique to join. Lên trong cả chỗ rùm chúng tôi đã nạp xe rùm rùm chiết cam bị chia năng rễ đó thằng ba rùm rùm chiết cam bị chia. Phần ba kia mình chụp cả xã hạ cả chúng tôi đang chuyển các bạn tiếng bấm tiền rùm nó. Thật ta miền cả rìa rèn như rìa rìa rèn được cả cả chúng tôi thằng năng cao nó bớt xuống nó dùng bài bài đi đại đức thế cái thằng này chúng tôi hàng mai cái hôm thằng miền cả chúng tôi rìa rèn cả nó bớt xuống dùng bài bài đi đại đức thế. To my knowledge, there is no evidence of that having happened in any case. Thank you. Uh, the the communique 
wish to look at or, or build on one of the passages that we looked at, which was the breaking up of feudal classes, etc. And, and I want to see if we can the first document is a revolutionary flag just for the record. I have a copy of the revolution revolutionary flag Thank you, Mr. President. So, looking at the the view that the revolutionary flag adopts in relation to what it describes as the private and personal the So that should be page 11 in the English translation that you have. It's a, it's a rather long uh, passage, but I'll try and read just a couple of excerpts. Under number three, we see types of private ownership. And the publication goes on to say they have been subjected to state ownership and collective cooperative ownership. And they are not concentrated. They are scattered. They have no force. Therefore, they have no power or influence. Since we do not allow them the opportunity to strengthen and expand, they will be ដោយគេមានបារាជ័យនោះឡើយនៅពេលដែលពួកគេចាក់ចេញពីទីក្រុងភ្នំពេញគឺគេបានបាត់បង់នៅ <coughs> 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 Now, the colonialists and imperialists have been overthrown. The land owners have been overthrown. The capitalists have been overthrown. And the petty bourgeoisie has no one to rely on. Therefore, they are subjected to the state power of worker peasants. All of these persons are the new peasants who came from the petty bourgeoisie, the feudalists and the capitalists. Their class has been overthrown, their economic foundations have been overthrown, but their outlook and their desires remain the same. Therefore, they continue to be in conflict with the revolution. I'm particularly interested in that last part where, despite having been overthrown, these classes apparently continue to be in conflict with the revolution. Are you able to apply them? This is why they had to be sent down to the countryside to reform themselves, to reform their mentality, uh, to be educated by the peasants. Um, this was not a whole new idea that these also sent people to the countryside to be reformed, to be forged, to control the labors of uh, through working with the peasants. Uh, they were also sent down to the countryside to reform themselves, to be educated by the peasants. The first section you read out clearly, that is breaking up the network of peasants. City dwellers, so that they were no longer in a position to resist the regime. And the second uh, extract is about 
demolishing individuality, demolishing private mentalism. Might I just say, I prefer to be discussing in the decision that the announcement that only the seven traitors would be killed and others not uh, would be read as a, as a reassurance, the last line does have a condition. It does say that others will be welcomed provided they immediately cease uh, their cooperation with the old regime. Now, in February, if they didn't immediately cease, that guarantee is no longer good. Thank you. I'm grateful for that further clarification. Just one or two more uh, brief passages on this issue of class. Uh, now we're looking at revolutionary flag, July 1976 This is one of the documents we submitted. Um, and with your permission, Mr. President, I will give you Mr. Shaw's paper copy of the particular extract. Philip Shaw, the mayor of Pinet. Thank you, Mr. President. The relevant ERNs are in Quote, Becoming socialist requires class struggle between the worker class and the other classes. The dictatorship of the worker class over the classes. If there is no worker class dictatorship over the other classes, socialism can be built. If there is no class dictatorship, the enemy will attack. A little bit further below, the example of the ideal of socialism in the corporate sphere. If at any time we are careless, if at any time we get lax about socialism and lose about the proletarian class dictatorship, they will certainly attack us. If we give them freedom to do so, they will attack us. And then it continues on with that, with that general theme, so I'll, I'll stop there in the interest of time. If, if you have been able to, um, to come to a conclusion on this, I'd be interested in your view as to why the policy seems to be still focusing on an enemy that will attack us if we do not carry out class struggle between the working class and the other classes. What does that relate to? If you, if you, if you can for us. This is not unique to uh, democratic Cambodia. Uh, in, in Maui, throughout the period, uh, 1949, especially from the bourgeois that, that was actually the basic in China. A similar idea with which Pol Pot became acquainted when he was a student in Paris was set out by Stalin. Uh, that fortress uh, is mostly easily taken from within, meaning that the greatest danger to a communist party came from uh, uh, elements uh, borrowing into its leadership and uh, corrupting the leaders of the party. So it, it really isn't unique. What, what is unique here is that they talk about the working proletarian uh, uh, class uh, uh, 
exercising its hegemony over other classes. And I remember having long discussions with Mr. Q. Song Pao, which probably will not trust the vote, about how you could have a proletarian class stance when everybody was a peasant. He didn't convince me, and I didn't convince him. But uh, th this was something which was very different about the, the Cambodian party. But it was essentially a, a, an alliance of, of intellectuals and peasants which, who fought, who claimed that they had forged intellectually this worker class consciousness, which would uh, allow them to exert, exercise hegemony over, over others and thereby uh, repress all those bourgeois tendencies that would emerge spontaneously unless they were clamped down. Thank you. Now, looking at your, at your book, at pages 321 to 322, you do a number of areas here, obviously, among them the hierarchy that the cadre were expected to maintain between base people and new people. The relevant ERNs are English 0039 so, as I said, you first described the, this hierarchy, and then you talk about the use of hunger as a, as a punitive weapon. And then over the page, page 323, you say the following. The indiscriminate killing of former Republican Army officers and senior civil servants, which had marked the first months of the regime, had stopped during the summer. But in the cooperatives, executions of supposed bad elements and others who allegedly violated collective discipline continue. Is there any relationship at all between this view of, of, of um, class enemy or, or class tendencies that are to be stamped out um, and the killing of supposed bad elements or those who uh, violated discipline. Uh, the one was the, the justification for the other. Uh, if somebody behaved badly in a cooperative, uh, behaved badly picking up mangoes, taking, taking food, even if it had fallen on the ground and was not being used by anybody, that was regarded as a manifestation of individualism rather than thinking of the collective. That was seen as bourgeois tendencies emerging in that person who then risked uh, the appropriate retribution. And where this system was different from almost every other communist system is that the appropriate retribution here was death. Whereas in China and elsewhere, it would have been re-education through labor, it would have been something to enable you to uh, redeem yourself by work and then rejoin the community. Thank you. I, are you able at all to uh, identify a point in time from April 1975 where this, this began? Was it, was it continuous? Was it, was it something developed? It was it rooted in prior policies? If you could give us your view on that. It, it, it's very difficult to be precise. It was certainly rooted in prior policies. And we saw it happening in um, liberated areas before 1975. Uh, it then, I think, went, if you like, in in waves, uh, there were areas where the pressure became more intense on the cadres, and the cadres uh, adopted a fiercer policy towards those beneath them, the ordinary peasants. Uh, there, there were times when things were easier. It, it depended on a variety of factors, and it was different in different locations. Thank you.
Now, continuing on from that, another aspect of the regime that you discuss in the book is what I'll describe for shorthand as double a double standard, and I'll ask you to use your words and correct me if I've gone too far. This is at page 346, and then there is the, an, uh, another relevant passage in, at 348. The ERNs are in French 009909 and Nunchia looking bloated. Kyusam Han put on weight and acquired an unhealthy reddish complexion. You then describe the uh, ban on foraging, which, uh, in your view, I think uh, made matters worse for those in the countryside, uh, including the prohibition of picking up fruit off the ground, which you've just touched on. Uh, and then just one more passage at 348. Quote, but in democratic Kampuchea, the contrast was so flagrant that it became a caricature. Not only did a tiny, cosseted elite preside over the destinies of a nation of states, but the regime which that elite imposed made ideological purity, abstinence and renunciation material detachment and the repression of the leader, the foundations of national policy outweighing all other considerations. The ban on foraging was not an oversimplification by uneducated local officials. It was approved by the national leadership in that can I ask you to expand on that? Did I go too far in using the word double standard? I'll, I'll, I'll let you give us your elaboration on this, on this contrast. I don't think you went far enough in using the word double standard. It was particularly shocking. Because it was the เอ่อตัวบ้านสิบ้าปន្តែสภาชนมันตัวบ้านปន្តែประชาชนมีซัมมิทธิ์อาจตัวบ้านเอาไว้ไว้คลาสได้โดยเฉพาะ they ยุคกะสมัยในมนต์สัตว์ทิมเพย์ในเมืองมอลล์ถ้าพระญาสมอคุณนั้นเลยตำปอนี้คือมีคลำซ้ามือเดี๋ยวเชื่อมชาบอาร
សូមឲ្យលោកបំភ្លឺបន្ថែមជូនតលាការអ្វីដែលរករកឃើញតេតតងទៅនឹងរបជាយុនកានៃធ្វើការរាយការដែលថាគេ there are copies of telegrams and from the zone ទស្សនៈសិក្សានៅភូមិភាគរដ្ឋហើយត្រឡប់មកវិញហើយនិយាយពីអ្វីដែលគាត់បានឃើញថាស្ថានភាពអាក្រក់ណាស់ហើយគ
ហើយកសារដែលយើងមានក្នុងចំណោមរឿងដែលអីបីលើ was Thank you, Mr. President. Now, I wish to clarify first this one thing about the location of the visit. Um, if I'm correct, and please do correct me wrong, you, you may have been looking at an English translation of DC Cam, which does say that the trip was to the southwest zone. We've since retranslated that document. ប្រែឡើងវិញពីគ្រប់គាត់ I think we must be because the dates are uh, the 28th to the 24th of, of August 1975 for both. Um, um, it's a little puzzling in that the English translation I saw speaks of Kampong Som, which corresponds to the southwest, uh, whereas we are talking here about uh, the vast towns in the north of the northwest. I can only assume, yes, you must be right, that this was a very um, inaccurate translation. If, if we look at the page beginning the version of the English, I'll just see if I can... So this will be page 6 in English, ក្រោយនោះ Does this decision relate to the United States? And if you're not able to answer the question, please let me know. Based on information you've gathered in the research you've conducted, does it relate to the movement which you've described as taking place in the northwest? Can you tell me a little bit about the movement which you've described as Yes, it clearly does. Um, with the permission of the court, I would like when I uh, later today, after uh, this session, to check insofar as I can with the documents that uh, I may be able to have access to, to uh, uh, establish this, because I am quite honestly puzzled by this uh, difference between the President's Commission. The President's Commission, I think, that we also with the President's Commission. Thank you. 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 Now, just looking at the movement, you said the passage we looked at earlier, as always, the Russian intention is in our way. Can I ask you to come to a conclusion at this end? What is your the lie this time was that people would be allowed to go to their home. 
គេគឺហត់ថានឹងអនុញ្ញាតឲ្យជាជនលោកនិយាយដូចខាងក្រោមនេះមិនមែនជានយោបាយដែលមិនសំស្របទេប៉ុន្តែពេលវេលាទេអាក្រក់ណាស់ <coughs> 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 <coughs>
đôi đã thông lắm đòi lục pol pot hay nâng bạc không cái nạn chân trái bỏ bạc không đi cảm chia được thang kéo mê được nắm xem xem đại nhân mà nội cung khó khăn ấy ai nên chơi rơi rơi nhiều bài sầm rộp sầm rộp chiết sa sa chiết con tai pol sầm rạch xem phần này chim phục cốt nẹt kéo hay nẹt cả sĩ co đại chôn rùm quạt nơi trong phần màn khai trong kéo cái nâng group xuất ao sợi phía phụ nâng tờ tam nâng mình tốt được tiết dù thiết cho trợ bàn ở cạn chất cạn lắm trong cuộc cuộc không mang chìa bị xe trong cuộc nẹ để chìm liên hoặc cái tìm khẩu đồng ở trong xung chạp hóa đam hóa này chìm nó trong khẩu ở tài xa nạ đào thà nẹ để chìm liên hoặc cái tìm khẩu đồng vì chìa khẩu đồng cái chặt tục thà chìa khẩu mang hỏi chìa ca này nôm tờ đào dù thiết thà ở chặt nẹ từng ổ nâng chỉ khả năng nâng ta lúc ai bình dụng tất cả các vệ bình thay bàn khóc bìa vậy để xử xe khả năng thay tế chẳng lấy những khi phô rô miên xì 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 bạc khả năng đôi đại dương riêng rộp đại thà cô đau vì chỉ cả ta không nọc đi một chút bài để thay tư bà nạ nạ chỉ khả năng được chặt cả đôi bà đây nạ nạ đã xâm rạch chặt thà trang nơi khả năng khả năng rồi có chanh bị khả năng tư chô thang ạc mài khả hôm nữa nâng cư khi thay bài chạy tạm nhóm nhóm bàn ซึ่งเสียไปเลยมโนคุมิเชียเขาเขาคนนี้เราที่สาขาเขาคนนี้ได้เจอบ้านกำหนดแต่ถ้าบ้านนาเชื่อเรื่องโยกการศึกษาเ
Thus, the revolutionary at any time has to strengthen his or her revolution vigilance stance in order to eliminate any secret and overt tricks of any kind of imperialists. In particular, the American imperialists and its lackeys. Then and only then we can successfully defend and rebuild our nation. Just looking at the time of this document, being from October to November 1975, I know you will get to the end of 1976. The introduction of the use of concept of enemy versus enemy to maintain the vigilance at this Again, it is consistent. It is quite right. It is quite ជាបញ្ហាដែលក្លាយទៅជាការអនុវត្តនេះហើយ but I'll go to the page following again in the interest of time. French 00, 9998, You're describing here an explosion that had taken place in Siem Reap. And then on the following page, or rather, at the bottom of that page, uh, you say the following. At the end of March, Hoon Min, in the form of a scandal of the Hoon, the former Northern Zone Secretary, who was now Minister of Commerce, he described the specific information that was provided to him. He said that the Poles were in serious questions about the Poles' behavior when against everything that the British understood. Seymour was in the zone he used to head and sought was a long-term position. Could Tawn have been implicated in the Seymour event? On April 8, the minister was placed under house arrest at K1. The former bank building in which Paul had been his headquarters. Another northern zone veteran, the director of the Central Committee's General Office, was appointed to act in his place. Soon, evidence of the Dawn had been privy to the Dawn's activities and might have covered up. In the hot house of democratic culture, it began to look as if it was a work in progress to overthrow the regime. Can I ask you, in dealing with a number of events, again, in the interest of time, can I ask you to define as to the significance of any of these developments that we have followed? Can I ask you to define as to the significance of any of these it's not clear whether the, uh, the, the, the centre, that is Pol Pot and the chair, ever really got to the bottom of what had happened in Syria. Certainly something happened. There were reports to the standing committee, which we have made a talk. Yang Seri said to me it was an uprising. Something serious happened, which bothered them. And then these other kind of lateral factors became involved. And then these other kind of lateral factors became involved. 
Xem phúc hợp rồi bỏ nên đại là nghi nâng rộng nó cảm thấy khá là bài sát rồi để vậy nên cứ thả Rừng ấy tích tui thì chắc tục thả chìa ông bởi khó bọt hơi thì cả xong cũng nất đầm bấy phút đua kia ấy Đến chừng này hãy nơi chìa ông bạc thì hãy tìm mũi đại cả là Hãy chìa hãy cả đại chừng rộng ôi miền cả phòng thời gian chìa Và tạm tư sức đây bà sân dừng từ lọc thật rồi chặt phạm rưu có một nâng Vì chạm đàm chìa thả អ្វីអ្វីជាលទ្ធភាពដែលអាចនឹងកើតបែបនេះទៀតបាទ <coughs> 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 Mr. President, with your permission, I would like to ask you to ask the question that we have a conversion that the committee is going to do. Mr. President, with your permission, I would like to ask you to ask the question that we have a conversion that we have a conversion that we have a conversion that we have. Thank you, Mr. President. What will appear on the screen will be the command version of the original. The composition of the meeting. We see Comrade Secretary, Comrade Deputy Secretary, and Comrade Hem, as well as Comrade Dawn. Just for the record, can I ask you to identify for us who you understand these individuals to be? Comrade Secretary is Paul Clark. Comrade Deputy Secretary is Noon Chia. Comrade Hem is Kusum Pond. Is enough? Mr. President, with your permission, I would like to ask you to ask Comrade Dern. Comrade Dern, in my head, I simply knew him as Comrade Dern, and that is how he's referred to in the book. It is obviously a revolutionary name. Chia chung một bài đi vào rồi bỏ qua đi. Khi ông bài chung một bài chung một bài sắp về nhà. Ta đưa đợt đá đại lục này dây không dục thâu thế. Chúng là ở bản. It is indeed the same Dern we've been referring to. He was the head of the Central Committee General Office, which was an absolutely key position. What is interesting about this document Reports by three different sectors. Uh, and his reports indicate uh, that no clear roots of the events in Siem Reap on 24 uh, February have been discovered. Uh, is that the information that you were looking at when, when uh, you wrote the passage uh, in the book? Uh, uh, it is indeed this, this document is the source for the book. Taking a step back, back looking at Trent's report, report in March 2003, or rather the report says the following, Comrade Shreng reported to Amtar Ah Nung Group and their associates 34 persons who were in the military. The group of Ah Nung 
ចំពោះបានបានទាំងមូលមិនមានសកម្មភាពខ្មាំងទេមានតែក្រុមទាំងមូលមិនមានសកម្មភាពខ្មាំងទេមានតែក្រុមទាំងមូលមិនមានសក